Hey, I'm Frankie Devlin. I'm here at Mount Baker Ski Area for Boardworks Tech Shop to review the Spark R&D arc bindings. So the Spark R&D arcs have the Tesla system. Um, it's special to Spark R&D. Rather than a pin, they have a tow ramp that flips up that allows you to slide the binding off, switch it into touring mode, and then just clip the tow ramp down and then you're ready to go once your board's split apart. Uh, it's a lot simpler and there's no extra parts to lose. These Spark R&D highbacks have the flip and rip lean block lever. You can set your forward lean for riding, and then when you're ready to tour, you just flip the lean block lever up, no tools, and then you can get a negative forward lean so you can get the most efficient stride while you're skinning. The flip and rip lean block lever is toollessly adjustable. So you can just twist it counterclockwise or clockwise, whether you want more or less forward lean, and then flip it back down and set it into place. Um, you might want more forward lean for aggressive riding or a little bit less if you're just jibbing around and trying to have fun in the powder. This year's arcs are equipped with the Spark Pillow Line straps. They're a molded strap. They don't have any fabric on them. Um, some bindings for your ski area bindings might have like fabric or plush stuff, but uh, these are designed for touring, so they're not going to absorb water and get heavier and wear down over time. Um, it just makes for a lighter and more efficient binding system while also being really comfortable and form-fitting to your boot. The Spark Arcs are one-piece machined aluminum base plate and a one-piece heel cup for added durability. They're also cored out for lighter weight. The surges are available in a little bit stiffer flex. Um, but the one-piece base, base plate essentially means that they're super reliable in the backcountry and there's not any extra pieces to lose, uh, screws to fall out, stuff like that. Out of the box, the arcs are lightweight, ready for touring. It's an aluminum base plate, um, which works for most people, but if you did want a little bit more cushy ride, an uh, aftermarket EVA footbed is available for purchase. So these arcs are super easy to put into touring mode. Literally after you've slid them off your binding base plates, you just line up the bracket, slide the pins through, clip the tow ramp down, done. Then as you approach a steeper hill, the heel risers on the Sparks are equipped with a whammy bar this year, which is a little lever that allows you to flip down your riser bar without having to use you know, a ski pole in from behind or anything like that. Makes it so much easier to get the bars down. And two positions, so for steep hills or a little bit mellower touring, or flat. So these arcs are milled out for lightweight. Um, they're sort of the more lightweight, playful uh, version of the spark bindings. Um, they're ideal for anyone under 200 pounds or anyone that's just into uh, more chill, jibby riding. If you're a bigger person, like over 200 pounds, or you're really just sending huge stuff, you might want to look into the surges because they have a full one piece base plate with no machined holes out um, that are going to be stiffer and just allow for the abuse given by someone of that size. Also, just a little reminder, as you can see, it's stacking up heavy here at Mount Baker and elsewhere in the nation. And uh, I just wanted to make mention of the fact that everyone should uh, stay safe out there. Take the time to learn about avalanche safety. Go out with a buddy, get your beacon shovel probe all set up and have a plan. Stick to it. Know where you're going and just make sure it's a fun day out in the mountains and not turn it into something unpleasant. So reminder, stay safe, guys, and uh, have fun out there.
All right, guys, thanks for checking out my review of the Spark Arc Bindings. This is Frankie Devlin at Mount Baker Ski Area. If you have any further questions about the Spark Bindings or any other split board gear, feel free to call or email BoardWorks Tech Shop at this number here.